the fishery is coming back. We have uh, a sustainable seafood that our fishermen are already bringing in. We all really liked the pan-fried Cape Shark fillets with shrimp and grits, a battered and fried Cape Shark sandwich, and a smoked Cape Shark spread with crackers. Paul Steven, who covered and photographed one of the focus groups, says the name spiny dogfish wasn't considered appetizing, but that participants seem to accept Cape Shark. It's also kind of gone by the name uh, chipfish for the obvious reason that it serves very well as fish and chips. If it's chip fish and it's it's really good for fish and chips, was did that mirror what you were hearing? Without question. So we'd already eaten our way through eight different preparations of the spiny dogfish. By the time it got the chips and fish, people might have, uh, whether it was palate fatigue or whatnot, they, they were ready for, for that real comfort. So the, the sort of battered and fried preparations really connected with the diners who were here. Well, we've got a similar version of, of how it was done on the sandwich here today, but it's hard to go wrong with a, with a battered and fried fish. You'll see time and time, people love to have, all throughout the coast of Carolinas, they have to have their fried seafood. That's thing, we did have some participants from Brunswick County, of course, Brunswick being well known for Calabash style seafood. This fish just yeah, that seems like that would certainly really work. it slips right in and can can it, it's definitely not flounder, but when you give it that treatment, it gets a lot closer than. What about uh, fish tacos? Those are hot these days. I would I would think that would be right in the middle of what you could do with these. That's a perfect application, right? The fish is mild, so when you fry it up for a fish taco, let's say, you get that crisp, you get that mild, delicious fishy um, yumminess that the, that the Cape Shark provides with all the accoutrements, you know, the cilantro and the lime is just a really good enhancement. I think when people do try uh, Cape Shark for the first time at our tasting, we did have a lot of comments about the similarity in, in flavor profile to flounder. And uh, most folks preferred it fried. Medium, medium area, something, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a fried piece of fish is universal. I like this, the uh, the flavor of the uh, the smoked fish in the uh, as a spread in the pate. Yeah, no, it's wonderful. It it has another it has a greater marketability as a as a smoked spread. Something you could could be utilized and and marketed through grocery store chains and get it would be well received, you know, in the general population. I have an impression this will never become a really big fish as far as a restaurant staple or a, an entree, but it sounds like there's a lot of export, a lot of economic punch behind it. So what do we have to do to, in order to be able to handle this fish properly and to export it? We need some facilities. We ship all of our dogfish up to New England. So it gets processed in New England. So that lag time, we could, you know, handle that in in state. So we're catching all of this dogfish here in North Carolina, but we don't have a processor that can handle it, that can can make those nice fillets, that can freeze them and help us get it to the consumer so they can enjoy it wherever they live. There's so much new technology available and, and processes and ways that we can share food. I mean, we can order food one day online and get it delivered to our house the next, frozen, this beautiful frozen seafood that was just swimming yesterday. So this is a great example of another fish that can do that for us. And the other cool thing about this is that these are predatory fish. So when they're in season around North Carolina, they're eating more commercially valuable fish from a consumer standpoint. Most of the boats were only getting 15 cents a pound for the fish, which is way below what they're really worth. The, the boats would get uh, more, a lot more money for the fish if we develop even in more extensive markets for Do you think it. they'll go out actually fishing for dogfish, or will it continue to be what's called bycatch, where you're catching other things? No, they'll target the dogfish uh, specifically, because when they school up, when they come in shore at a particular time of year, they're in great abundance. Right now, we're exporting tons of dogfish. And it's something that we could start using domestically and share with seafood consumers. It's affordable, it's plentiful, and the application um, like this is very tasty.